Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Sorry if uh, I sound a little raspy. I've got quite the cold going on, but uh, life moves on and gotta keep busy anyway. So today we're gonna be looking at the Alpine Flex plow for my 2018 Outlander. Um, super happy with this plow. It's my second season with it. Uh, previously I've used click and go and some other generic steel uh, plows and they all come with their problems but so far I'm really happy with this machine here so <clears throat> it's made by Alpine and uh, it was specifically made for Can-Am for a couple of years and uh, they're highly rated some people have some issues with the fact that it's plastic um, it's actually uh, like a fiberglass reinforced compound I'm not exactly sure of all the materials in it but I have to say it's quite strong and I've abused it and it's still in great shape Obviously, it still has a steel wear strip on the bottom. It's all replaceable. Um, they did a good job with how this one is set up. Um, so obviously, when you run into anything that's going to come to a full stop, like some, a sheet of ice or something like that, these big beefy shocks here take uh, pretty much all the force. Um, it is a multi-angle, so it's all manual. You just pull that lever and it swings over. Um, it is quickly hooked up. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, it's not perfect, but really not hard to put on your machine. So basically you throw your winch underneath this brass wear plate and you hook it up just over here and you winch on and it clicks on. <clears throat> and it does about 70% of the time, but even the other 30% where it doesn't hook up perfectly, um, you just grab it with your hand and click click and it's good to go. And once it's on, you, all you got to do is hit this lever and it pulls the pins on the other side and drops the whole thing. It also comes with a sensor here. Well, the sensor is actually on the machine right up here underneath this plastic. And this is the receiving end here. So <clears throat> once this plow gets close enough to the quad, it'll stop the winch. That way you're not, uh, you can't go too high with it and, you know, bust up a bunch of plastics or, you know, bend your plow. So it's, it's a really nice setup. <clears throat> Like I said, uh, this is the second season with it, and it's put up with some crazy abuse. But uh, I figured I'd get a couple shots today because we got a little bit of snow last night. I gotta clear off. We have a lot of vehicles. Um, we got about, I don't know, I'd say a good 30 centimeters at least. I don't know what that is in freedom for you American guys, but uh, we got enough snow anyway. I mean, these cars were basically gone. Um, it's not too bad. Like, obviously, we can still get out of here. Pretty much everything we have is 4x4. Cass's truck, my truck, my other truck. Everything's good, so. But eventually, I got to get rid of this snow. We're also going to pull that trailer out of here, clean it up, because I still ride in the winter, so I need access to that. I use the quad to move it, and I plow back there, and I put it back. So, yeah, we got a few things going on. I'll set this thing up so I can show you how this clicks on and we'll get out there and get to work. So, like I said, just grab your hook underneath the wear strip. And then you just clip it in like so. And back at the other side, there's uh, my winch plate at the back that just has two prongs and this little guy here gets guided in and snaps on and it's good to go you just got to make sure those are clipped and uh, you can start plowing get some power to this guy well I've got a little strobe light too because uh, my neighbors like to try and hit me but uh, alright so winching in So there it is, click, good to go. So now that I've got it at that point, I just go to the other side and make sure it's snapped on. And it is, and that's it. So I'll show you the sensor. You can bring it up all you want, and it just stops. So as you can see, it won't go anymore. And that's because of that sensor. And it's, uh, it's really easy. just. You pull your lever, make sure she's locked in, and you can get any angle you want. It has a couple different 
different spots, but it does well. Um, I'm also going to be buying, there's extensions. So you have an extension piece here with side cutters, and that's preferred in my opinion. So you, I think you can get, I can't remember exactly how long this guy is. I want to say it's 50. Oh, geez. Come on, Kyle. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So this one's 60, and I believe you can go to 72 inches with the extensions and side cutters. They also sell a rubber strip for the top, so you can roll the snow forwards. And two guides if you need it, so that there's little poles there so you can actually see it by sitting down. So uh, sometimes you have to stand up while you're using it. Um, just to make sure you're getting the right line and everything like that, but... Uh, yeah, we'll get this guy outside and we'll see how this thing pushes on assassinators. I've plowed a few times on the assassinators and they work all right. Um, definitely no problem. But there's a lot of snow today and underneath the snow is a layer of ice. We've been gone out of town for a week, so the driveway's in rough shape. We'll see how she does today anyway. set up definitely gonna need four wheel got another camera down there for an angle center strip done there I'm just gonna walk it to one direction
So there you have it folks. One plowed Canadian driveway. I gotta sell some of these vehicles, I think. Shuffling them around, keeping the trailer clean, moving that around. Not bad, even the old truck starts up no problem. I'll get that out of there eventually, but uh, yeah. So this thing on assassinators really doesn't care. <laughs> it was quite a bit of snow there, especially when I stacked it up at the end of the driveway. But uh, yeah, highly recommend that plow. Uh, don't worry about being on assassinators, um, you know, or big mud tires or something like that if you're gonna plow. They still do the job, no problem. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go get a coffee and sit by the fireplace. Get a fire nice and red hot and take the rest of the day to hang out. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a comment down below, ask any questions, I'll answer them. You know how it goes. But uh, right on, we'll see you guys another day.